going to show you the new Rhino 4.0 flow command. And there's a flow in 3.0, but it isn't quite as useful. The goal here is that we're going to draw some text and then flow it along the arc that you see on the screen. So we're going to start off by doing solid text. And we already wrote in Rhino 4.0, shameless plug. I'm going to do it as a solid. And also, if you notice, I have grouped objects clicked. The reason for that is when we later on are going to go to select the text. If we don't have this clicked as a group, it's going to choose each individual letter. Height of 10, solid thickness 1, click OK. Go down to place it. I'm going to do 0, comma, 0, space. There's our text. Full screen on perspective. All right. So the command, the next thing we got to do is a line underneath the text. We need a, what's called a backbone, and we'll go from zero, comma zero. I'll have shift down, so that gives me ortho down to about uh, there. All right. So now we're ready to do the flow command. We type in flow, F L O W. Select objects. We're going to select the text. Now you notice we went the whole line there instead of each individual letter. Hit enter when done. The original backbone, which is uh, the line that we drew. Okay, then it wants the new backbone. We have a couple co uh, options here. We can go copy, so it's going to leave the old text there. We can turn that off. It'll go rigid, local, or stretch. What rigid does is does not allow the flow command to stretch the text as it places it across the arc. So we'll leave it as no right now. So we want it to kind of deform as it goes across. Stretch would have it go all the way from the beginning to the end equally spaced, and we could use those together as an option. Let's go with the default for the first run here. So, we'll pick the new line. Ryan was thinking for a minute. And there's the text. Flow it across. Control Z to undo, and we'll do the flow again. Hit the space. Try the other options just for funds. Original. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to stretch it. I do S, then space. You notice the stretch becomes a yes. And we click the new arc. And the rhino goes all the way across the arc. Very nice. Let's try the other option. Yes. We space, go for flow. And finish. We go to the original backbone. Now, let's go stretch, no, but let's go rigid, yes. Let's see what happens. So there we go. One, let's hit control Z, and one more flow command, object, original backbone. Oops, let me back out of this, do it again. Space, and the backbone. Alright, so let's go rigid, no, stretch, yes. This is the fun one. And then click the new line. And now you see the rhino's gone all the way across. Thank you.